Hello everyone and welcome back to Sims 4! And we're here with the entire crew! Look, everyone's here! Lily, who for some reason is out in her party outfit. Oh my goodness, look at her! Wearing her party outfit, putting those gems on. I think she's feeling a little bit more confident, ambitious. Look at those cute little shoes! Oh, with her little toes. And then we've got Bailey, who is just totally relaxing in his normal everyday wear. Oh my goodness, he looks so comfy and by the way, holy moly, he has been doing such a good job. He has already been promoted to Code Monkey. These two have been having an excellent, fine, easy time going up and getting promoted. Bailey's been promoted to Code Monkey. He's been reaching really high on his programming skills. And meanwhile, Iris has been producing paintings like No Tomorrow. She is already a painter extraordinaire, brushing with greatness. Soon she will be expression, uh, expressionistic. Expressionistic Sims have the have captured the essence of feeling and create and can create highly emotional works of art regardless of their actual mood. So she has been really working hard and getting getting paintings done. She has an excellent painting. I don't even know where, but she has an excellent painting back at home. And meanwhile, look at Tate, look at Tate, he looks so happy, he looks so happy. But he and Iris have been very flirty lately, and she's been feeling tense from being cooped up. But being here at the science park should fix that. We just popped right next door to this amazing science park, and look at it. I mean, I know this is kind of random to get excited about, but look at the painting on the wall there. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. You know you're a simmer when the detail of like the wall textures gets you excited. And then of course we've got these gigantic places to build spaceships, but it looks like we can't do that. However, there are the observatories so you can observe the sky and that's just so awesome. There's the play place. Aw, you can only play on it when kids are here, but that's okay. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to try to get Bailey and Lily to be friends today while Tate and Iris do whatever they want to do. Because Bailey has indeed met Lily and she is dressed very nicely, but they are not friends yet. Uh, and we need we need Bailey to be able to make friends with Lily so she can get promoted and she and Lily can finally do as good as these two are doing Wow, in their careers. So we're just going to jump right into it. Plus Bailey also wants to meet someone new. And he wants to earn a little bit more money so he can be fabulously wealthy. So let's see. Uh, brag about possessions, why not? Chat about property values. Joke about politicians. Um, and then why not discuss local neighborhood changes? And meanwhile, Iris, I think, is going to be pretty happy now that she actually realizes you're outside. You can calm down now. And we're actually, let's brighten his day. Come on, you relax, relax with your tape. Casey, who are you? Casey, why are you entering our conversation? Some, some woman named Casey is trying to nose in on the conversation. That shouldn't happen, because these two, they're getting very flirty. Oh, she's feeling flirty. From a steamy shower, nice, let's see. Oh, first kiss! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's tempting. She's like, oh, okay, okay. You know what? I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. We are going to... Uh, bold pickup line. I think we're going to have Iris and Tate kiss. Because they've been getting closer and closer to that. She used a bold pickup line on him and he thought that was really cute. Oh. Enthused about the outdoors. Oh, hey, you know, it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous outside. Um, reveal a deep secret. Like, oh, look at her. Look at her enthused about the flowers. And he's like, I love flowers, too. Good. It's a match made in heaven. Enthusing. Then she's like, hey, I'm going to tell you a deep secret. The first kiss, the first kiss, the first kiss. Oh, my goodness. She's like, all right, I'll tell you a secret. Look at his little shocked face. She's like, I think we should try playing house together sometime. Oh, look. He looks so surprised. Oh, my gosh. Look at his little face. Oh, my gosh, Tate. Tate, you're so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, he is so surprised. Look at that. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, so first kiss, first kiss, first kiss. There you go, Tate. There you go, you little, you little surprised, surprised puppy. Oh, that's cute. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
He's like, hey, so that's what all this flirting's been leading up to lately. Ooh, he's getting pretty flirty too. He's like, well, I know I'm quite the catch. Uh, suave kiss. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Oh, look at these two! Tate's feeling flirty now, too. He's telling an unbelievable a sexy pose. Strike a sexy pose in your adorable little sweater, darling. Casey, who the heck are you? What's going on here? Oh, well. Oh, it's Casey! I know Casey! She's not sad today. She's normally always depressed. Oh, look at that little sexy pose. Hey, who are you? Megan? Megan, this is an awkward encounter. Because Tate's very flirty. And then Casey's just like, this This woman is just like, oh, okay. I'm just going to be like peripherally involved while you two are being adorable. Oh, look at them. They are so cute. Oh, you know, I never thought about what kind of kids they would have. But their, their little encounter is advancing so quickly. We might have to start thinking about what kind of kids they have. Woman, just, what are you doing? These two, Casey, what? Oh my gosh, sometimes these Sims. Woman, we're in the middle of trying to be like super duper very flirty. Ooh, what's this? A woohoo with someone. My goodness. Iris. Look at you. Hello. You're kind of rushing things a little. Well, not really. Now it's an awkward encounter because this focused woman named Megan just like bumped in on everything. Oh my gosh, this is like turning into a six-way conversation. So this is, oh, look at the little kid. So this is a very interesting day out at the park. You're okay, Iris. Just ignore them. Ignore, ignore those people and then um, hold his hand. Oh. Oh, off a rose. He loves plants. It is an awkward encounter because this woman is just sticking. She's like so, so like, okay, okay. Megan, you are hilarious. What are you doing, Megan? Megan, these two are trying to have a moment, Megan. And you're just like in here. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, Bailey, how are things going over here? He wants to meet someone new. Well, guess what? Hello, random man. Very nice to meet you, Callan. Thank you very much for the win points. And then Lily, Lily is actually so enthused about interest. Um, brag about possessions. Join in the game, Lily. Oh, she's feeling confident. Who, who are you? Briella, I thought that said Bella. And I was like, oh my gosh, Bella, you got old and you've definitely changed your styles. They're still feeling very flirty. Level up cooking skill. Oh, there's some sad old people walking by. Megan! Seriously! Woohoo! An observatory! What? What? Well, hey, if we want to make this encounter any more awkward, uh, kiss hands. There you go. Meanwhile, how are things going over here with Lily? Oh, good. We're getting we're getting higher up on uh, let's see, debate game strategy. Uh, joke about politicians. Uh, ask about day. Oh, finally, Megan. Jeez, you got the you got the note. Like rude much. Um. Oh, ask to be boyfriend. Let's uh flirt, and then ask to be boyfriend. I didn't know they could do that. Tate's like, oh hey hey. Oh, this is so cute. We're gonna have to send them on lots of little dates. I didn't expect this day at the park to be so successful. Bailey! Oh good, you're feeling playful. I thought it said that he was feeling flirty and I was like, this is getting out of hand. Lily, how are you feeling? Oh, she's just happy. She just has, excuse you. Callan, excuse you. I know that she's dressed nicely, but that is not, that is not okay, sir. No grabbing of Lily's goods place. All right, joke about penguins. Oh, what are you two up to? <gasps> oh, look! Tate gave her a rose! That's so sweet! I love that they'll actually, like, do stuff on their own now. Oh, did I miss the become boyfriend interaction? Dang it! Profess undying love. Oh, they're both feeling really, really flirty. Oh, she wants to kiss him! Um, be enticing. This is adorable. Oh, that's so cute! And then, passionate kiss. 
Oh, they actually make a really cute couple. <laughs> Especially because Iris likes to lead the way. Oh my goodness, you two, you two. Bailey, I think like, ba look at those two and the two in the background. Meanwhile, Bailey and Lily have no idea what's going on. Oh, steamy exchange. And they're they're very happy because they're they're just kissing, snuggling. Tate, you're so funny. He's like, hey now. And they're just chit chatting. Oh, she's just kissing him on her own. That is so sweet. Embrace. Oh, they're like so almost fully completely in love. Look at this. They're lovebirds, a connection of curious hearts. This is shaping up into a beautiful romance. It really is. So let's just leave those two to do their thing for a little bit and we'll like check in on them. Because Bailey needs to step it up here with Lily and become friends. And I really want to... Oh, good. They got off the chess table. Finally. All right, play together. Or play with, actually, Lily. So I actually want to have Lily come over and play with Bailey on the chess table. Oh, who's this? You are... I can't see you. Ryder. There we go. Oh, what a cute little park. I mean, look at this. Isn't this just the cutest park? It's got the little observatory. It's right next to the canal. I love the location. Look at the kids playing. Oh my gosh, are we going to see him play? It? Like, oh good, and Bailey's getting the logic skill. Olivia, Spencer Kim Lewis, Aaron Cooper. Oh, you jerk! He's picking on her! Oh, you jerk face! You go home. Get out of here. She's like, I'm gonna beat you up! That's right, you're a powerful, strong little. That's right, Olivia. You chase him away. Olivia Spencer. That sounds very familiar, but Spectre. Oh. Liberty Lee, hello Liberty. I'm just coming over to hang out, I suppose. How's Tate's relationship with Lily going? Oh good, they're friends, yes! We have achieved so much. And who's that? He looks kind of like Tate. Brantley, huh? We have achieved so much today. What are you two doing? Why are you looking at specimen samples? Where is your boyfriend? What's he doing? Where is he? Tate! Did he go home? Is Lily headed home? Oh, well, I guess the encounter's over, but holy moly, look at this. She's flirting from the tingling banter, the first kiss. She's happy from the fresh air, her new partner. Feeling good. She's flattered. Feeling inspired and feeling energized. I think that she's on top of the world. And you know what we need to do then? If Lily and Tate have gone home, I think we will go home. Come on, Iris, let's go home. Yeah, we're going to go home because I think while Iris is in this mood, we need to go paint. We need to go spend a little bit of time painting so that she can kind of get uh, that mood captured in art form. Because that totally seems like something Iris, who is turning into an amazing painter, would want to do. And she's also growing those wildflowers in the front yard. So I have a feeling uh, if she and Tate ever decide to share home together, which they definitely will because they're going to have the most adorable little babies ever, then they will be able to have a big garden and she'll be able to have all her paintings everywhere up in the hallway. Because that's actually one of her aspirations right now. And I love how we could just leave Bailey out there. Look at her. She's like, ah, oh, so thoughtful. All right, let's see. Oh, this painting's in the way. Um, I think it's almost done. So let's just resume the painting. And then we want to get a very flirty painting done. But yes, so this is her little art studio. She has been adding to it quite a bit. So there's a lot, a lot that is just kind of clustered right here. And she's been painting lots of cool things. Oh, ooh. Yeah, she's still feeling very flirty. How exciting. How exciting that she and Tate are together now. Now the next goal is to actually get them together, together in the same house. We are going to renovate this house. I'm going to get in there. Oh, there's Nancy. She is always jogging. Go, Nancy, go. Keep fit and healthy. There you go. But we're going to like bulldoze this house and build a custom house. And then we're going to move the entire group over there. Ooh, she finished the painting. Good. Let's sell this puppy. Sell it to a collector. Out you go. And now we're going to paint a flirty painting. So let's see what she produces as a memento. 
for her wonderful time with Tate. So this will be cute, I hope. But she's a really good painter. She's been painting a lot of stuff. Inside the house, we have this lovely classic painting. Quality good. Large classic painting made by Iris Farmer. And it's just so cute. Look at it. It's got the little mountains. It's got the little trees. Then right over here, we've got her very first like abstract painting. It's good quality, and it just looked kind of like a lily, so I had to keep it. And over here we have... Oh, this is her excellent painting! This is her very first flirty painting, and it was just so cute. And I was like, you know what, let's put that inside the house, because you can enable the emotional aura. Oh, there we go! A steak dinner? That's your idea of being flirty? Really? We're going to sell that to a collector, ma'am. Come on now. Let's try again. Let's get like a really cute flirty painting. Aww. Capture the mood. Think about your... Oh, hey Lily! How you doing? Think about how you felt with your amazing guy. <laughs> Bailey, where are you? Are you gonna come back? Can I, can I bring you back? Do I have to go get you? Maybe he'll come back on his own. We'll just have to see. Oh, Iris, you're so cute. Look at her. She's such an adorable little painter, and she loves being out here outside painting. There's no rain or anything, so we don't have to worry. About it. Okay, no, she's really feeling like a steak dinner is the way she wants to capture her memory of being out on her very first date with Tate. Oh, that's so cute. That's just so cute. All right, finish your painting, then I'll let you go. Now she's just feeling confident from her paintings. I don't know why a steak dinner. I don't know why. But there she has it. That's that's how she wants to capture her memories of her time. Her time with the very handsome Tate. So who am I to judge? All right, what's the quality? Quality's good. Uh, we'll just go ahead and put it over here by like the kitchen and stuff and we'll frame it. So at least we have some decorative pieces. Oh, hey, there's a gym outside. We'll go get that in a little bit. But yeah, so what Iris wants to do to go higher up on her painting aspirations no 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 don't you nap over there go inside and come on come to the bathroom you're you're at, you're at your house honey pee like a champion my dear that's better now you're figuring it out and then we're going to have her eat after that she doesn't remember how to do these things iris where are you iris it's your own home Come on. What? You can't figure out how to get in your own house? What is this nonsense? And it says Bailey's at home, but Iris isn't. What? Oh, no. He's over there. Just going to introduce himself. Iris, are you okay? What? Come on. Come on. You can do this. It's your house. You live here. Uh, Go inside. Go inside. Come on. Go inside. Darling, you realize you're home, right? You are home! Oh my goodness! Why? Why, Sims? Why? There you go, I rotated your door. Is that all you want? What? Okay, can I, can I like, pick you up? Oh, I don't think there's remove objects. No, I don't want to remove the floor, that's a little drastic. Hello? Alright, let's try the door. What if I got rid of this door? What if I clone the door? What if I move the door? Where can I put the door? Can I put the door inside? Anywhere inside? Iris, I don't know what to do for you! How have you forgotten how to use your front door? You're home! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, we'll be right back, guys. Hey, well, actually, you know what? You know what? This might be a good spot to, to just kind of head off. And we'll go back over to Tate and Lily's house. And we're going to let Iris and Bailey figure out how to get back inside their own house. I have a feeling they'll remember when we come back. So here's our little memento from Tate and Iris' first day on a little date. And, you know, all the kissing and schmoozing that they did. Lots of kissing, lots of schmoozing. She knows she, that's she is lovebirds with him, best friends, double lovebirds. Look at that! They're like double lovebirds. That's so cute. They're neighbors, and that's her boyfriend. So that's very exciting. And there's Megan, who's kind of weird because she just kind of she was there for the whole thing. She shared the special memories with us. Yeah, that's all. That's fine, Megan. That's fine. Thank you. But yes, so I'm going to head back over to Lily and Tate and then we'll see how those two are doing but how sweet how wonderful i had so much fun congratulations iris i'm sad that you've forgotten how the heck to get into your house because you are 
a bit of a silly goose it seems but I'm really I'm really happy that we have the amazing beautiful I mean look at that look at that park isn't that such a better thing to have in the background now than the freaking like empty lot so nice but all right <laughs> and her, see here's our little flower garden all growing ah so we'll have to see where that relationship goes and right now we'll just have to focus on these guys saving up a ton of money mm, we'll have to we'll have to figure it out because you know, Tate and, and Iris are going to need, like, a place to raise their family if they start a family. And Bailey and Lily are really focused on their careers, so they're still going to need to be able to do that. And I guess they're just going to focus on careers and get a lot of money. Then they can all move into a house together and they can have, uh, have a great time. And we'll have to go visit a whole bunch of the other community lots as we find time to do that, too. Go enjoy a nice dinner, swap it out. Enjoy a nice day at a park somewhere, swap it out, and just enjoy all the different lots. So I will see you guys next time for more adventures here in our wonderful little suburban area. I'll see you then, guys. Bye-bye.